Hello everyone, did I hear and we're back with Super Mario Brothers Legend of the Seven Stars. Where we last left off, we beat the game. <laughs> yeah. We defeated Smithy and we saved the, the day and the wishes can be granted now and all that. But there was a couple of little things left to do. One of them was fight this secret boss and Isidore. We stepped in here earlier. Um but we're not gonna do that just yet. We have two items we need to get through. Do you remember the, uh, what was it called? The bathtub ring. Or the bathtub ring. You'll win her heart with this. Well, there's a special little thing that combines this and an item from, um, Moleville. So, let's go to Moleville, everyone. Okay, here we are in Moleville. We have to go, I believe it's here. So, the, uh, coal miner guy. Good to see you again. I'll show you my inventory. A lucky jewel. As I've mentioned before, lucky jewel uh, gives you um, uh, lucky after battles. We don't need that anymore. The mystery egg is what we need. It does sort of grow on you. All right. Mystery egg. Thank you, mystery egg. We're going to get rid of one of the rock candies, I guess. Madam 3 is a metal plate. You don't know what it's used for, but you'll sell it for 300 coins. And I'll take that too. Nice doing business with you, period. Metal plate's a weapon, and we're gonna. It's a weapon for Peach. You play Smash. I don't remember which Smash. Melee? Uh. Toadstool has a. Frying pan. It's her best weapon in the game. Uh. I'm not gonna talk about the commentary on that, but that's what it is. <laughs> Alright? Uh, this is where it comes from, by the way. Um. She, uh. This is the first appearance of Toadstool's frying pan. Okay. Now that we got the B Tub ring and the. Mystery Egg. We need to go fight some enemies. So let's go to that. Okay, here we are in uh, Booster's Pass. Uh, we picked this place because enemies respawn here. So what you need to do is fight. And I don't... I believe Peach needs to do it. I'm not sure. Let me check. You need to use that Mystery Egg in battle ten times. Yeah, you see the little buzz noise? That's bad. Peach needs to use it in battle 10 times. Now, we can do that, no problem, 10 times, not a big deal. After we do it 10 times, though, it changes into a new item. Uh, so, I'm gonna cut into that point, I'm not gonna waste everyone's time, okay? Okay, so we're here back now, we've done that 10 times. Let me go into battle and show you what happened. Um, let's just, let's just get rid of this thing. Because he's got annoying attacks. Uh, so now, it, the mystery egg turned into the lamb's lore. Um, let's show you what this does. After you do the mystery egg ten times, a little message appears on the screen. It says, um, what does it say? It says, you are a good shepherd. Alright, so the lamb lore, this. Bah. And they go away. And you don't get the experience for it. But you can end fights. And anyone can use it besides... Uh, wait. It can miss sometimes, but I do believe anyone can use it besides Peach. Yeah, okay. Whew. So, now, you need to take that lamb's lure and use it 48 times in fights. And I'm really not going to waste everyone's time with that. Alright. Okay, we did that 48 times. When you do it 48 times, a little message pops up on the screen and it says, uh, the flock is full. All right. And it turns into the sheep attack. And it attacks everyone. Look at this thing. Oh, are we only gonna get one, two? Oh, we only got two. I don't know how, how it determines which uh, enemies to um, take and turn into sheep or not, but that's what it does. It's basically lamb's lore, but attacks everyone. Okay. So that's that little side quest. That takes a long effing time. All right. Now we have one more item-based uh, side quest, and that's all the way back at Great Guy's Casino. So I'll see you all there. Okay, here we are, Great Guys Casino. Now, do you remember this little mini game? 
Hello, Mario. I run this casino. Feel free to enjoy yourself. Blah, 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 blah. This is slow. Hey, Mario, want to play Look the Other Way with me? Yeah, ready? Look the other way. Uh, we look the same way. All right. We lost. Okay, so this game, you have to win a hundred times. Not in a row, I don't believe. God, I hope it's not. <laughs> uh, no, I'm pretty sure you just got to win it a hundred times. Um, and after that, you get a, a special item. And now I'm going to do that. Ugh. All right. Let's skip to that. All right. We did it 100 flippin' times. Oh, you didn't get cost. I lost this round. Okay, Mara, this is in celebration of your wins. Received a star egg. All right. Let's get rid of a rock candy for the star egg. Want to try again? No. Good. Goodness, that's a fucking annoying game. All right, let's go back to somewhere to fight <laughs> someone. Uh, Land's End. Uh, that's, the, that's probably not the right one. <laughs> Bean Valley. <laughs> There's bugs right here. All right. Time to show off the star egg. Hey, that's a rude. How fast are you? Star egg, where are you? There it is. So it is an all-enemy attack item, like fire or bomb and all that. Except it's a little differently themed. Oh! It's the dancing star from Monstro Town. And they're backup dancers. And a little Tweety Bird for some reason. And 100 damage. Yeah. That's what that does. <laughs> that's what I spent all that time to do. It is reusable, but Jesus. Okay. I think that's all the things we need to take care of. Which means we're gonna head back to Monstro Town. Okay, everyone? Okay. Back in Monstro Town. There's a secret boss beyond this door we need to fight. Now, he's tough. He's tougher than Smithy. Um, but it's a different kind of tough. Um, so, this is the team we're going to use. I, I, I leveled up everyone to 25 before um, we got here. And I also, because this is like the real challenge of this game, I'm getting rid of all the cheap items. Okay? So no lazy egg, or lazy shell. No action scarf. And no star cape. All those three items are way too OP. All right, they're, they're made to make the game easier. So, to combat that, we change out everyone's weapons and stuff. Everything in here you can get pretty normal gameplay. Uh, through normal gameplay. So we're putting the Jinx belt on Mario because it's uh, pretty good. I'm putting the amulet on Gino because I can't think of anything else. Rare scarf, maybe. Ah, uh, we're going to go with the amulet. And then the safety ring on Peach because uh, it stops from changing um, forms. Because you can, there are, they have attacks. The enemy has attacks that can change you into petal, uh, excuse me, mushroom. We don't want that. We need Peach. She is going to be the crux of all of this. So let's go in here and see, finally, what he's all about. This background, it's great. So he exists in a 2D world. That's why he can't interface with our 3D world. I will fight you. Which is a really cool idea. There's a book called Flatland about similar concept. And look at him! I am matter. I am anti-matter. I can see your past. I can see your future. I consume time. And I will consume you! If you have someone with high enough speed, he'll actually go before his speech. It's kind of funny. Anyways. So, Culix up there, he's the big bad. And then, oh, this music. This is the battle, this is like a redo of the battle theme uh, from Final Fantasy uh, 2 in English or 4 in Japanese, however you want to go with that. So, Culix has four elemental crystals, fire, water, earth, wind, which I believe are also the elemental beings in Final Fantasy 4. I don't know if 6 would have been out yet. Anyways. Um... These guys are pretty tough. There's, there's a lot of hit points on here, on the board. And these guys do a lot of damage. Uh, we kind of want to start off either the red, the blue, or the, ah, uh, probably... So the red, we're going to start off with the red. The blue and the yellow probably do the most damage, though. But we're going to start off with the red. Now this fight 
is going to be long. So I'm not going to commentate over all of it, because I don't have that much to say <laughs> during this fight. But we're going to commentate at the beginning a little bit, see how it goes, okay? Man, I missed that lazy shell. Everyone's fine, so Peach, get in there. That's her frying pan, by the way. Respectable damage. Gino. Alright, you know what? We're going to do a Gino boost and show you. Um, it's not crazy worth it in this fight, boosting. So, Electroshock. So, by the way, all of these crystals have elemental weaknesses, but we're not going to bother with that right now. Yeah, he does Corona. Corona's the reason why we want to kill him, really, because it's, it's a bad one. We're going to need a little bit of luck to go through this fight. Um, otherwise, we're going to be in a bad shape. Oh, man. Okay. Dark stars. God, if it's that on Gino, it might just kill him. That's on the princess. Whew, okay. So, yeah, they all have elemental weaknesses, and you can actually go and do this fight with, like, the magic base. Um, Gino and Princess Peach actually do pretty good magic. But, um, because they are non-elemental based, so nothing's resistant to it. But, Princess Peach is going to be pretty much necessary for healing. So, uh, we're not going to bother. <laughs> you can also end up using, like, lots of, uh, like, rare candies and just pretty much walk through this, but not going to do that either. Uh, alright. Ah, uh, Corona again. Oh, no. I think the, uh, the red one has, like, 2,000 hit points. The blue one is, like, 1,800. The yellow one's the most. I think it's like 3,500 hit points. And the green one has only a little bit of hit points, but he has stupid high defense. And there's Shredder. That's the reason why we don't bother with the uh, buffs. But that's also the reason why we didn't bother with the certain items like the Ghost Metal and the Troopa Pin. The Shredder actually affects the 50% bonuses you'd get from those two items. So we took them off and traded them for something a little more uh, useful in this uh, fight. All right, come on, live. All right, Princess Peach is gonna survive this. Good. Uh, she needs to heal. But she's gonna be pretty much dedicated to healing on most early turns until we start getting through some of these guys. Oh shit! Yeah, that's probably Mario done for. I did say we need to get a little bit lucky to win this. Oh, shit. Oh, Meteor Blast. Oh, wow. They're going hard on us. Yeah. Yeah, the green one's not that bad, so we don't really worry about him too much. We need, actually, Mario back. Gino, ah, uh, Gino, use a, yeah, we only have a couple, he'll probably die. Yeah, use the max mushroom on yourself. Freebie? No freebie, great. So you want to try and keep them not from dying so that the princess can heal them. The whole party. Yeah, Gino would have been dead if we didn't max. And then, see, then Mario wouldn't have gotten healed. Ugh, it's a tough one. Because they get five attacks. They're like, oh shit, someone's dead. Ugh. Yeah. Oh boy. Well, we're not out of the fight just yet. Hey, Mario, how you doing? You know, we risk it. We risk it to do some damage. What is our magic looking like? Barely used any of our magic yet. I don't want to use a Karo Karo, but I think if I have any chance, we have to. No freebie. Man, all the freebies have left us.
going to be two whole rounds of attacks and we haven't done any damage. And that's bad. We need to we need to start taking out the red one. And then the blue one. And then after that, we could probably get away with leaving the yellow and the green one. But we're definitely going to take out the yellow one anyways. Alright, we need to get some damage done. I don't even think he's probably half hit points at this point. Uh, there is a way... There's a bonus. We're going to outlast uh, their magic. Uh, we haven't uh, seen it yet, I don't think, in the game, but enemies actually do have their own flower power count. And their attacks do cost a, a amount of flower power, most of them anyways. And they can run out. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that is probably going to happen here. Um, oh, black. Maybe I should have grinded out those last five levels, huh? Between levels 21 and 30, which is the max, you actually don't gain that much, stat-wise. So I thought 25 would be a nice challenge, basically. Oh, Light Beam. Okay, so this is also one of the reasons why you need Peach. To be immune from that kind of crap. I forgot they also have Light Beam. Alright, Gino, get in and attack. Come on. Yeah, not a lot of damage. Uh, that's okay. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good turn. I like that. Mega Drain is gonna fuck someone up. Oh, wait. No, I thought it would be worse. Oh, that's his normal just melee attack. I don't know if you guys have noticed. Culix is just a... Uh, JPEG? It's just a sprite, a big sprite that's floating. It's all totally fucking, um... What you call it? Uh, Final Fantasy. He's like a tiny little sprite on the overworld, and then in the real world, or in the fight, he's this huge, scary god monstrosity. <laughs> you know? Uh, uh, just so you all know, Kulix, I'm pretty certain, is an original thing. Doesn't appear anywhere in the... Uh, all this is just a referential to Final Fantasy. Nothing's actually a crossover. Um, even the music is subtly different. Yeah, see Shredder so often. I, ha I want him to use Shredder, not an attack. But that's the reason why we don't bother boosting in this fight. Unless we had a lot of items, like uh, the Crystalline and the other one. Or whatever they're called, the ones that raise the whole party. Then we could just waste them, basically. But I don't think it's necessary. I think we're in a good spot right now. Let's keep going. There, we did it. Yes. The first one down. All right, that's it. Pretty much, we're pretty good from here on out. Um, one less attack from him a turn. Now it's just a time thing. Oh, Darkstar's going to take someone out. Oh, he missed. Wow, well, lucky us. Okay, so from here on forward, I'm just going to be fast-forwarding the fight because I don't think there's anything that's going to be able to defeat us from here on out. And there goes the blue one. We're doing pretty good. Now from here, we could probably just start attacking Culix and win. But I feel a little angry on how tough this was. So let's take them all out, huh?
Oh, there goes old yellow. Um, so the um, the 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 green one, the wind crystal, is got really high physical defense, but low magic defense, and he happens to be weak to jumping. So let's jump on him. And he only has 800 hit points. And there we go. That's probably half his hit points. Uh, there it is. The monster's FP is gone. Well, that's unfortunate for them because I still have FP. Okay, that's all of his crystals done for. Now it's time to end Culix and send you back to the dimension you came from. Culix has no FP left, so this is going to be not a problem. Now, even though he has no FP, he can still do Shredder, unfortunately. Um, but let us... You know what? It's the end of the game. Let us use these. Crystalline. That's what that looks like. Defense up for everyone. Never use him. Whoa. I believe you can timed hit block that, but it's hard to even realize he's attacking because he has no animations. Because he's a 2D sprite. <laughs> and then let us... Uh, you know what? I don't think we've used a red essence once. Let's put a red essence on Mario. So that's the vigor up. Uh, but red essence... Oh, look at his portrait. So, Red Essence means uh, you don't get attacked for three turns. That character. It's actually really powerful. I can't... There's probably other games that have done that, but right now I can't think of any. Uh, how about a uh, Bracer is... How about an Energizer? Or Gino? Alright. All these items we never use. Oh! So Culex has something like 4,000 some hit points, but it's alright. Now it's 3 on 1, he can have a million hit points. There's pretty much no way for him to beat us. Uh, uh you know what? Rock candy. <laughs> I should have got some more items that are not often used, but oh well. He wanted to fight the strongest knight in all of Mushroom Kingdom, and here we are. I forgot the time to hit that. Yeah. Your PP is gone. <laughs> Not your FP, I'm sorry. Oh! I don't want to talk over it. You hear it? Oh, that victory fanfare is so fucking good. Again, a remix of, like, the Final Fantasy IV era theme. <sighs> Fortunately, we have to kick click past this screen. It's okay, we'll get another good piece of music on the other side. Then a remix of the theme. Really nice rendition, too. Let's continue. Ah, your spirit is strong. Thank you, brave knight. I will treasure this memento of my journey here. Perhaps in another time, another game. The game? The fourth wall? We may have been mortal enemies. Let us part as comrades in arms. Take this. Treasure it as a keepsake of our fight. Receive a quartz charm. 
Okay, we're throwing shit away for that. Farewell, champion knight. We're back in Monster Town, and the door is gone. Was it real? Is that a figment of our imagination? Let's take a look at that quartz charm. What does it say? Shining source of power. Let's put it on Gino. Um, what it does is, it gives the 50% bonus to defense and attack you would get from a Geno boost, and it's just on. That's what it does, and it's really good. So, that's about it. There might be a thing or two I forgot. There's a Yoshi item here that I forgot. But it's not crazy important. I may have forgot to do the Beetle minigame to show you what that- it's not it that- it's just a Beetle minigame. It's okay. <laughs> but this is the end, everyone, of Super Mario RPG. I hope you all enjoyed this playthrough. I love this game. It's very near and dear to my heart. And I hope uh, you got something out of watching me play it. Maybe an appreciation of a game you never heard of or saw of. Or just ignored because you thought it was uh, whatever, it wasn't your style. But anyways, it's my style, I guess. Let's take a nap, everyone. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.